we have big news from CD Projekt Red regarding Cyberpunk and The Witcher. CDPR is also hiring 60 positions for future Cyberpunk content. Plus, we have industry sources and data mining of what's allegedly being added to Cyberpunk 2077. So let's jack in. Hey everyone and welcome to my Cyber Outlaw Punk 2077 channel. Hope you're all having a preen day or night, depending on when and where you're watching this. If you're new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Cyberpunk 2077 and everything of the Cyberpunk genre. And if you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, then please leave a like and comment down below as it really helps the channel. Also click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload. So first off, we have the big announcement that Cyberpunk 2077 and Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Next Gen Upgrades are officially being delayed. And this is what the post has to say. Dear all, we have an important update regarding next generation updates of Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for consoles and PC. Based on recommendations supplied by teams supervising the development of both games, we decided to postpone their releases until 2022. Our current target for Cyberpunk 2077 is the first quarter of 2022 and second quarter of 2022 for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Apologies for the extended wait, but we want to make it right. Now moving on to more news from Cyberpunk and the fact that CD Projekt Red are hiring 60 positions for Cyberpunk 2077. So let's jump to the article from Forbes. CDPR is hiring 60 positions for future Cyberpunk 2077 content. If you want more evidence that CDPR is very, very far away from ceasing work on Cyberpunk 2077, look no further than their career page, where they are currently hiring over 60 different roles tagged as being for Cyberpunk 2077, as pointed out to me by a Reddit thread. The massive list of jobs is loaded mostly with animation roles needed, 22 in total, ranging from cinematic to gameplay to level animators, implying that these positions are not necessarily about fixing the game in its current state, but instead adding new content to it. The mysterious pair of paid DLC expansions that are supposed to be rolling out in 2022 and will be the first major additions to the game since launch. Fans are hoping these expansions will echo what we got from The Witcher 3's two mega DLCs, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, which many hold up as a gold standard of DLC in the entire industry, given that they were more or less full on games by themselves. By this point in The Witcher 3's life cycle, it had already released Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine was about one year after the game debuted, and we're approaching that in under two months now for Cyberpunk, and things are clearly off schedule. The game also has to finish up putting out the rest of its promise-free small DLC and its next-gen console versions, which seem like they may not arrive until 2022. And obviously now we've had the news that they will not be arriving until 2022. So now let's jump over to the official CDPR website to check out the job listings. And you can see by the job listing there's a hell of a lot of jobs on here, starting with the art. We have like cinematic animator, environment level artist, gameplay animator, intern cinematic animator, lighting artist, senior cinematic animator, senior lighting artist, going down to design and creation, gameplay designer, level designer, open world designer, previs artist, senior cinematic designer, UX designer, senior quest designer, Digital Scapes, Game Programmer, Senior Programmer, Production, Producer, Producer, Scrum Master, Senior Gameplay Animator, QA, RQA Analyst, QA Automation Engineer, QA Analyst, Technical, Build Engineer, Game Programmer, Gameplay Programmer, Graphics Programmer, Senior Animator Programmer, UI Programmer, so there's a lot, a lot of jobs on here for Cyberpunk 2077. 
So here's a solid proof for anyone who thinks that CDPR will just drop the game. They have stated, including the CEO of CDPR, Adam Kaczynski, that they will continue to work on this game until we get the product that we were promised. And finally, another article from Forbes titled A Long List of What's Allegedly Being Added to Cyberpunk 2077. CDPR is continuing to pour a massive amount of resources into fixing and adding to Cyberpunk 2077, even if we've only seen the surface scratched for changes made to the game so far. They are planning massive overhauls over the next few months and even years, and ultimately they want to deliver the project they originally promised. If there's someone else that likes keeping an eye on things as much as me, it's YouTuber Tyler McVicker, who I thought had a very good recent video about the current state of CDPR and what they're working on regarding to Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher. I'm focused on Cyberpunk and I wanted to summarise what Tyler had extracted here. What follows is a combination of data mining, industry sources and just some logical leaps and speculation. McVicker himself says to take this with a grain of salt, so it's not wise to expect every item on this list is going to pan out, even if every item is something the game could use. Over the next few years, CDPR will be remaking practically every system that exists in the game over time. Slow improvements rather than some massive patch or release fixing everything. The entirety of the police system will be reworked. Factions will remember how you behaved towards them in the past and be hostile or passive towards you as a result. We are already starting to see bits of this with Arasaka drones attacking players if you started a new game post patch 1.3. An NPC variety system is being developed to give more diversity to both citizens and their vehicles. A transmog system is coming, letting you have the stats of one piece of gear while skinning it to look like something else. A change to gameplay difficulty balance, altering the current DPS from everything system. This will include strengths and weaknesses to different elemental types of damage and more RPG aspects than the game has now. This is reportedly something that got scrapped late into development. A couple dozen pieces of free DLC, albeit they may still be very minor things like clothing or cars like we've seen. A new game plus system, apartment customization with multiple places players can live and redesign. A barbershop to alter your appearance, unclear if just here or everything. Two large content DLCs, the first of which seems focused on Pacifica. This will not add the big new zone, but lay a new content on top of existing zones. It will also take place before the end of the game would be, not be a standalone or pick a canon ending. Cyberpunk is now replacing the formerly GTA Online like system that was scrapped after being in development and is a multiplayer concept focused on co-op play. It's described as a small MMO but there are no guarantees that this will see the light of day and it's the furthest thing down the road. And that's everything for this video, so thanks so much for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time in Night City. Catch you later, tunes.